but leaving his ride back to the Hilton Garden Inn there by the Atlanta airport. I'm supposed to just like, give him a ride. It's going to be okay. And then the next thing I know in the course of that ride, he is reaching over and grabbing my junk in a protracted manner along the entire ride. And to my shame, I did not say no or stop, but God knows it was not a wanted advance. Here is just my account for the nights of October 18th and the 19th and the 20th just happening. And here I'm supposed to pick this one up in the morning and just sit there and pretend like nothing happened. Description that provided to NBC News from an unnamed uh, Herschel Walker uh, staffer as he there as he described a, a drive he was having with uh, Matt Schlapp, the head of the uh, uh, CPAC, chairman of CPAC there. Um, as he said, he said he groped him, grabbed his crotch for an extended period of time for the drive and he didn't really know what to do about it. More details though, because the staffer said that this incident did occur on October 19th when Schlapp, Chair of the American Conservative Union and lead organizer for the Influential Conservative Political Action Conference groped and fondled his crotch in his car against his will after buying him drinks at two different bars. Now that staffer who said he's, who isn't is in his late 30s, he recalled that while he drove Schlapp back to the hotel, Schlapp put his hand on his leg, reached over and fondled his crotch at length while he was frozen in shock, calling it scarring and humiliating. And when they arrived at the hotel, the staffer said that Schlapp invited him to his room. Uh, and he declined and left as quickly as he could. So in another video though, as they were talking throughout this whole thing, is also the Daily Beast had reported about this late last week. And they said they do have audio, we just hadn't heard or seen any of this yet. Uh, he talks about how he got even more upset about what had happened. Is what he said, slap of, this, of CPAC grabbed my junk and pummeled it at length. And I'm sitting there thinking what the hell is going on? That this person is literally doing this to me. From the bar to the Hilton Garden Inn, he has his hands on me. And I feel so effing dirty, I feel so effing dirty is what he said. So also one more part about this, the next morning, the staffer then did send Schlapp a text saying that he was uncomfortable with what had happened and also alerted his supervisors of what had happened. Again, he told right away. Schlapp then urged him to call him back. Here's that message that they said happened from Schlapp's point of view. He said, if you could send see it in your heart to call me at the end of the day, I would really appreciate it. He sent this text at 12:12 p.m. Uh, if not, I wish you luck on the campaign. I hope you keep up the good work. Um, so uh, accusations here, uh, Burbank, uh, from someone head of CPAC here, who of course ushers in and allows many people to say as many homophobic and hateful things as they can. In fact, enough to take away people's rights, which we know is one of the platforms of the Republican Party. Now this. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Of course, yeah, the same person that's, you know, chairing this significant conference, CPAC is is, you know, one of the biggest conferences for conservatives happening in Hungary last year led by fascist leaders there. It's just shocking what they stand for and then what their leaders are doing in their personal time. I mean, they're enemies of the LGBTQ+ plus community and their members also apparently of the LGBTQ plus community. And the thing about the phone call is you know that the phone call was meant to be a number of things, all of which are bad. You know, it could be intimidation, it could be, you know, an offering of a sum of money in exchange for silence. And it's good that this this kid went to their supervisor. I don't want to say kid, you know, they might right. be an adult, but they went to their supervisor and told them what had happened. That allows this situation to be dealt with so it doesn't happen again to someone else. The fact that he asked for a phone call, I think, shows that he's guilty. I mean, I mean, he would have clearly said, what are you talking about? If this was something the kid made up, which of course is gonna be their next move is to cover it up. So it's good that this phone call didn't happen. But interesting that this is coming from a Herschel Walker staffer as well. Right, treating this guy's campaign staff like they're expendable. They really treated the Walker campaign like it was expendable. Like let's grab this sheet. Uh, but let's not take this candidate seriously. One more piece here, you mentioned uh, Herschel Walker and many people knowing stuff. But also, I always wonder whenever folks that are associated with these guys, worship them, promote them, uh, are a part of their whole political movement, or finally see some of things like this and go, this is kind of crazy. Okay. Are these the people that I really should be backing? Well, Herschel Walker's son, Christian Walker, he's been saying a lot lately and he had some thoughts on this as well. Let's watch. I want to go over everything. Matt Slap, head of CPAC, big family values, conservative guy, married to a woman. They have five children together. 
took one of my dad's campaign staffers out for drinks when he was helping my dad on the campaign trail. Took one of my dad's staffers out for drinks. The staffer had been chauffeuring that around, all excited, I'll go to drinks. This guy's big in conservative politics, it's gonna help my career. And when the staffer was dropping Matt off at his hotel, Matt reached over, inappropriately grabbed the staffer, but here's the kicker. The staffer is a man married to a woman! Oh! He grabbed a he grabbed a male staffer. And then when they get to the hotel, Matt Schlepp invites the staffer up to his hotel room. The staffer immediately told the campaign, texted Matt, that made me very uncomfortable. That was horrible. Go over to the next slide. We gotta finish this story up. One second. Matt pulls a typical predator move, texts the guy back when the guy's not answering his calls. He texts him, if you can find it in your heart to give me a call, because Matt knows he's been caught now. So when he's on campaign trips away from his wife and children, he's trying to hook up with men. Ridiculous, this is insane. Typical predator preys on this poor little staffer who's just trying to work his way up in Republican politics, then gets assaulted by one of the top guys in the industry. Jessica, there is a lot of outrage. She says a lot of truths and points out the uh, the weird hypocrisies of hating on folks so much, but then acting this way. Not to mention the sexual assault part, which seems to be somehow falling off to the back end. But how much more time will he be supporting them, though? That's the main question. Yeah, I don't know. Christian Walker, you never know what you're going to get from that kid anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he has been saying a lot lately, though. I think he's rebranding as someone who's kind of, I don't know, playing the middle a little bit mm -hmm. as a member of the LGBTQ plus community, but then like getting super upset that there are pride flags at the Starbucks. I mean, and then he's defending, you know, this victim and then an outrage that a member of the conservative party and a member of CSPAC, the leader of CPAC is someone who is doing things that are, are you know, criminal acts, right? This is sexual assault. Uh, there's the difference in power here, but also being surprised that this guy supports family values, cheating on someone and also is gay despite being an enemy of the LGBTQ plus community. That for some reason is not the center of what Christian Walker is saying. Uh, and so that's figure a big it out. I, I think the, the eyes begin to open more, but then that's when you have to try and cover it up with new things to distract folks with. We'll see what those distractions may be. But also to be noted, uh, Schlapp and his people did say they vehemently deny all this. None of that ever happened. Okay.